welcome to Diamond Education Hub's Teaching Tips, sharing teaching ideas, resources and advice with teaching professionals helping them to improve their practice. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this interactive classroom to help make learning more exciting and engaging. To see more, keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on future videos from me. Right, on with the video. Right, let's get started. Open Keynote and select a new presentation. We are going to change the dimensions of that page by going to Document, Standard, Custom Slide and change the dimension of the page. Then zoom out of your screen and get rid of these text boxes. Now we need to insert a lot of images onto this to create the virtual classroom. So we're going to go into Google. So if you open Google, Right, okay, so we're gonna type in uh, background images. And you can select whatever background image you want to appear. And you can have this one, something darker. I mean, it's entirely up to you. And you do the same for anything you want to appear in your virtual classroom. So if you want a chair, you can get real images or you can get clip art. So I'm gonna type in clip art chair and then click on the one that you want. Mm, quite like that one. And then just take a screenshot of the image that you'd like to appear Right, so once you've clicked on all the things that you'd like to appear in your classroom, so go back to your keynote page and then start inserting these images. Right, so we're gonna to go to insert, choose, and on the desktop you'll have the images that you screenshotted. So first of all, you insert your background and then just stretch that so it covers the whole screen, the whole page even. And I would lock that in place. So go to Format, Arrange and Lock. Then go in and insert your flooring. Now if you have anything around it and you don't want that there, go to Image, go to Instant Alpha and remove that, and remove that. And then you've got your flooring. And again, I would lock that in place so that doesn't move. Right, so I'm gonna insert a screen and this is where a lot of your uh, teaching will take place on this screen. Get rid of the white around it. And then you need a whiteboard. So again, insert, choose. And I'm gonna type in, in the search, whiteboard. And I'm going to crop this one. Let's move that over there and put that there and leave that there. Right, okay, so you've got your screen and you've got your whiteboard. Then insert, if you've got a chair, you can insert, or you can insert a sofa. So I'm going to insert this sofa and get rid of the white spaces, add a border, get that line thinner, add a shadow, 
make that much smaller. Now, on this screen, we're going to insert the phonics that we're going to be learning. So again, you would have made your video already or your PowerPoint. So add that in by going into insert and choose, and then just reducing that down so it fits. Now there is a little space there. So what I'm gonna do is add a rectangle, put it across, Oops. Go to style, make it black, put this at the front. Oops. So then you have, if you press play, then you'll have the phonics you'll be teaching and you can do a voiceover on this. Now on these, you can insert a link. So we go to format, add a link. Now you can add a link to a web page, a slide. It's entirely up to you. So let's go back to Google. And add a YouTube video that I would like them to watch first before the lesson. So copy the link and open up your keynote slide and add your link into the space where it says link. And it should, if you go to open, bring you straight to it here. So before I go on to adding the math slide, I've added a few clip art images just to make the classroom come to life and you can add links to each of those images which will bring your students to a different web page or slide. So click on maths, go to insert, oops no, go to format, add link. Where do you want them to go? So we want a slide and we click on the slide button and you add the number of the slide in this box and then just click go to slide and it brings you to the slide. So let's just go back. So what you need to do is add in any of the worksheets or the slides that you've created. And when you've done that, you have your virtual classroom set up. You can add additional links to any of these images. So let's go to play date comes up on the board. You've got your lesson starter phonics, which you can do a voiceover on. 
you've got your links here. So if I click on this, it will bring me over to, it will bring you over to a YouTube page. And you click on the maths. You've got the addition activity that you want them to try out. You go back to the classroom. And there you go. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and check out some of our other videos. Thank you for watching.